everybody on booktube welcome to my wrap up video where i let you guys know what i have been up to and what i've been reading i didn't do one last week because i had some family over and i can't do a video when it's family time so i've been lacking in videos and really, really sorry but hey here is my beautiful face again yeah yeah sure so i actually didn't get a lot of reading done the week that i was meant to do a video anyway i was just i don't know i was just really unmotivated to read and i did read but I was procrastinating a lot and everything so I didn't complete a book which is what I call being unsuccessful although I did get some reading done but this week I managed to complete a book just yesterday and it wasn't a book that was on my TBR for last week but I was re-reading this book because it goes towards the hashtag readathon readathon that is happening in May and it's to do some rereading and the book that I reread was A Betrayed by PC and Kristen Cast. This is book number two in the House of Night series and I read this like a few years ago. It's a vampire series and it's not actually cheesy. I just I just think it's kind of really happy and addictive at the same time i kind of get annoyed at the main character sometimes just with her decisions and her thoughts and everything and i'm just like seriously you, just, you know you just want to hit her with the actual book but at the same time i just i just love the storyline i love all the characters in it the characters are probably like the strongest point of these books and yeah so this one, there was a loss, there was betrayal, hence the name betrayed, and just yeah, the way this book ends, you can't help but want to continue, and I was really, really addicted to the series when I read it a few years ago, I've never completed it, I think I read up to like the 6th or 7th book in the series, and I think there's like a total of 12, so I'm going to be continuing on with reading the series and finishing it, because I've actually purchased the last couple of books so that I can marathon them all and get them all read and it would be such a relief to actually finish this so this is a book that i actually completed within the past couple of weeks and i i'm i'm glad because i flew through this book the second time and i loved it just as much as i did the first time so of course i gave this five out of five stars and now moving on to the two books that i'm currently reading i am currently reading fire and flood by victoria scott which was one of the books that was actually on my tbr for last week for me to read last week but i'm halfway through it so that's good and i'm I, i'm really really enjoying this book so far it's really really good and it's it's different and it's kind of really really exciting and intense and straight away it was just into the story and i was like oh my god this is really fast paced and i love fast paced books if you don't know me i love fast paced books so i am really really enjoying this and i hope to get that book read for this next coming weeks tbr and the other book that i'm currently reading is a new book that you've never seen before you will see in a book haul and that is the air by kara cass it's a new release i had to get my hands on it i managed to grab it it was in waterstones the day before release so i was so excited i was like i need this in my life right now and yeah i literally just I began it of course and i'm really really excited because it's not to do with the first three books which are to do with America Singer. It kind of is but it's a spin-off, it's with different characters so this is interesting, it's a different sort of selection and it's interesting just because this time you have a female with a selection that is leading it so so we'll see how this one goes but i'm really enjoying it so far and i'm sure i'm gonna love it this series is just so so addictive and for anybody that hasn't begun it and started reading it and falling in love with it you need to i know it's kind of a girly sort of series but i don't know it's just it's just really strangely addictive and fun and before you know it you've finished the book and yeah so I'm 100 pages through this at the moment and I plan on finishing this also for the next coming week. Once I have finished those two books I am going to begin this beast which is after by Anna Todd. This is my TBR jar challenge for the month so I need to begin this and it's one whole of a book but I'm really, really excited because me and bad boys you know I just I'm attracted to bad guys what can I say. 
so yeah I'm super super excited and I've had mixed thoughts and feelings on this this is like a Marmite book so I'd be interested to know what I think about this book anyway so there you have it guys that is the wrap up for this week what I've read what I'm currently reading and what I plan on reading for the next coming week I hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to let me know what you guys have read or what you're currently reading or what you plan on reading and are you participating in the bout of books I'm going to be reading these books towards the bout of books and I have the Tuesday off of work because I'm seeing the nurse and I've got the Saturday Mm, kind of because I'm going to the Harry Potter studios I'm so excited I'm going to be vlogging it so keep your eyes out for that and on the Sunday I should have some time free so hopefully I can get some reading done for the bout of books I'm going to push myself to read as much as I can because we're all going to be reading together for that readathon but I hope you have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching it as always keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is Katie and I'll see all of you in my next video bye